Hi, uh, today I will be teaching you how to solve word problems uh, with positive and negative uh, rational numbers. But first we'll have to go over some of the rules that have hopefully been taught to you already. So first we'll go over the addition and subtraction rules uh, pertaining to uh, positive and negative rational numbers. Um, so first we have if you uh, add two positive numbers, so you've probably already done this like a million times, if you have two positive numbers, you will always get a um, positive number when you add them, right? Um, because you're just going further and further up this number line. Now, if you had um, two uh, negative numbers, then you will get always get a negative number when you're adding these. So if you start here and then you start at an already negative number here and then you're moving even further here because you are decreasing with the negative number. Now a uh, problem comes with the negative and the positive number. Now for this it can be either positive or negative depending on um, how much of each there is. So the only real um, difference between addition and subtraction is uh, there's only one real basic property you gotta remember about subtraction and that is, uh, for example, if you had six minus um, negative four, these two minuses would become an addition so it just becomes six plus four. And once you have this sound, you can pretty much um, just apply any of these properties you have here but this is the only real difference that when these two negatives are present it becomes a positive addition and um, subtraction rules all right now we'll do multiplication and division of the positive and negative uh, rational numbers so first we'll do a positive times a positive which will be always a positive as you must have learned by now and uh, then we'll do a negative times a positive now this is something you're perhaps a little bit more unfamiliar with so I'll show to you why this will always be a negative so if we have the number 6 times negative 3 because you know this is the community property of multiplication so we can change these around so this can also be written as a plus times a negative, and it'll be the same. It will also equal a negative. So 6 times negative 3, and we want to know what this equals. Okay, so 6 times negative 3 equals some number, which we don't know. So then we can also write 6 times 3 plus negative 3, which is the same thing as 3 minus 3, but this is it, what we're doing. And we know this equals 0 because 3 plus negative 3 is uh, 0 as shown from the above rules. So this would be 6 times 3 um, plus 6 times negative 3 because of the distributive property where we can distribute the 6 to both. And we know this has to equal 0. So 6 times 3 is 18 and 6 times negative 3 must be negative 18 if we need to get this to equal 0. So this would equal negative 18, and this would be a negative. Now, for uh, negative times negative, it's a similar sort of reasoning, uh, which leads us to believe that a negative times a negative will always be a positive number. So we can see this by... Um, if we do the same sort of reasoning process, we do negative 6 this time uh, times uh, 3 plus, uh, that's a bad plus, plus uh, negative 3. And we know it has to equal 0 because 3 plus negative 3 is 0. And then we see negative 6 times 3, which we know from earlier has to be negative 18. Uh, and then we also have 6 times negative 3, or negative 6, excuse me, times negative uh, 3. And this has to equal 18 because we're adding these two, and they have to equal 0. 
And now for division, it's uh, a, a similar to multiplication, uh, sort of how addition was the uh, same thing almost as subtraction. So for um, division, if we have a positive divided by a positive, this will always equal a positive. That's already known to you guys. That's You've been doing that since like day one. Then if we have um, a negative divided by a positive, that will be a negative because because uh, yeah this this works for all rational numbers and this will be the same for a positive divided by a negative that will also equal a negative and then but a negative divided by a negative will equal a positive which you can kind of deduce from the multiplication but that's a little bit beyond so for our first problem we have uh, if the temperature was six degrees celsius at 3 p.m and negative three degrees celsius at 7 p.m by how much did the temperature change so it's change so we know we have to um, subtract the initial amount here the six degrees celsius by the final amount which is the negative three degrees celsius um uh, so we do six minus the negative three and this is also equal to six plus three because these two negatives become a positive, which ultimately is nine degrees. So yeah, fun fact, nine degrees Celsius is actually a lot, even though most of you are used to dealing with Fahrenheit. If you look over here at the uh, thermometer, you can see just how much of a difference it is. And dropping this much in four hours is a lot. Uh, if the temperature fell 17 degrees Celsius during a period of three hours, at what rate did the temperature change? So this is another change, uh, but it's the rate. So, and it's uh, also fell 17 degrees Celsius. So it fell a 17 degrees Celsius, so it'd be negative 17 is the net change, right? Because it fell at negative 17. But then this is also uh, a rate problem. So it's how much did this happen per every hour? How, much, how many degrees Celsius did this, uh, did the temperature change every hour? So it would be, um, so it's three hours. So what we do here is we uh, divide it by three because you always want to define, uh, divide like the time on the bottom if you want to find the rate. So this would be your rate. Um, uh, this is just, you can simplify this into a decimal and make it uh, five, negative five and um, two thirds if you want it mixed and then ne or negative 5.66 and uh, it just works the same way with uh, fractions all the laws you saw above they still apply to um, fractions so this would be negative 5.66 and since this is negative and a positive and we're dividing the negative by the positive then this will answer will be negative so the rate of change is it changes by negative 5.66 degrees celsius every hour Celsius per hour. Our final problem here today, we have, um, if you lose $5 from your bank account every hour at a concert. So what will be the change in your balance after two and one third hours? So you lose $5, negative five um, every hour, and then you do this for two and one third hours, but two and one third is really just seven third as a fraction. So we multiply this because, um, yeah, and then we multiply it and we know it's a negative. Multiply it by a positive, so the answer must be negative. And then we multiply it, we get 35 thirds, which is also equal to negative 11 and 2 thirds or negative 11.66. So this is the change in your balance after 2 and 1 third hour. Um, it's a nice picture on the left, as you can see. Oh, Benjamin Franklin choosing to stay safe over there. Um, thank you for listening in and I hope you learned something today.